Following the Queen's Act of 1858, the governing powers of the East India Company were to be vested with the Queen and India came under the direct control of Queen Victoria. The post of Governor General of India was renamed as Viceroy of India and Lord Cannon, who was the then Governor General, became the first Viceroy of India. Hi, this is Anu. Now let's have a glimpse at those Viceroys. There were 20 Viceroys in British India and as I've mentioned earlier that Lord Canning was the first Viceroy. The second Viceroy was Elgin I. Next comes Lord John Lawrence as the third Viceroy and fourth, fourth Viceroy Lord Mayo. And our fifth Viceroy is Lord Northbrook. Now let's learn this in a simple trick. That is... So, candles and joysticks may be broken. From this sentence, we this can represents canning, Lord Canning. And from the same candles word, this L represents Lord Elgin first. Now, from this joysticks, this Jo represents Lord John Lawrence. This May represents Lord Mayo and at last this dog represents Lord North Brook. So hope this clue helped you a lot. Now let us move on to the rest of the Viceroy names. So our sixth Viceroy is Lord Lytton. Then comes Lord Ripon. Next Lord Dufferin. Ninth Viceroy was Lord Lansdowne and our 10th Viceroy was Lord Elgin II. So a clue here is Here, little Ripon, who was deaf, fell down hitting an engine. Here, this little represents Lord Lytton. This name Ripon completely represents Lord Ripon. And this deaf word deaf represents Lord Dufferin's deaf. And this down represents Lord Lansdowne down and at last this engine represents the word elgin viceroy 10th viceroy lord elgin second so now let's jump on to our next set of viceroys so here comes our 11th viceroy who is lord curzon so our 11th Now let's hop 
to our last and final set of viceroys. Coming to the last set of viceroys, we have the 16th viceroy, Lord Irwin. The 17th viceroy is Lord Wellington. And next comes Lord Ling Lip Go. And 19th, Lord Wavell. And at last, the 20th viceroy in British India was Lord Mountbatten. So, let's go on to the clue. Now let's have a quick recap of these viceroys and their tenor of rule. Here, the first viceroy was Canin, who ruled from 1858 to 1862. Then second, Elgin I ruled from 1862 to 63. Then John Lawrence, 1864 to 69. And Mayo, 1869. 1872. Now we have Lingli Go 1936 to 1943. Wavell 1943 to 47. And at last Mount Patton 1947 to 1948. So now we will be really wondering why I have jumped from the first four that's Mayo to Lingli Go, the last third viceroy. No? Yeah, there's a secret behind this because all this, uh, that's from the 5th Viceroy to the 17th Viceroy, we have a small clue to learn their tenor of rule. Let's look at it. From the 5th Viceroy to the 8th Viceroy, that's from North Brew to Dufferin, we have a constant difference of 4 years. And... The next set that's from the 9th Viceroy, that's Lance Down, to the 14th Viceroy, that's Chemsford. We have an alternate of 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, such that. And at last, from 15th Viceroy to the 17th Viceroy, we have one more clue, that's a constant of 5 year period, okay? Reading Irwin and Willington five year period constant difference. So, this was the clue. Hope you enjoyed it. That was all in my video. Thank you.